Hi Yogi, welcome to this class. Today's class is a hip focused flow. We'll be relieving tightness within the hips and the surrounding area, moving our hips in every which direction, really just exploring our full range of motion. We'll get started today in child's pose. Grab two blocks if you've got them and I'll meet you on the mat. Beginning to take the knees about the width of the mat. Just heavily sink the bum as close to the heels as it will go and then tiptoe your fingers out in front of you. As you spread your fingers, melt your head, melt your heart. Really just allow gravity, the weight of the body to do all of the work here. And by having the knees wide, we'll just find that natural opening in the hips. Not forcing anything. Listening to the breath. Allowing your breath to start to travel and flow in and out your nose. Just observing the flow of the breath without controlling it. In today's class, I invite you to move freely and creatively. Okay, on the next breath in, we're going to slowly ease our way into a tabletop. So just arrive in onto hands and knees. And then we're just gonna come and cross the legs over and take a little seat back into the back, onto the back of the mat. So heels come about the width of the mat, toes are gonna point up the way. So a bit of a bear stance. Take a breath in as you look forwards. And then exhale, begin to flop your knees towards the right. So we're gonna kind of adjust the legs here so that the legs are more or less at 90 degrees and we want to face directly over the right shin. So a little bit of a hip mobility challenge exercise for you guys. So we'll take the fingers wide, take a breath in. As you exhale, come a little closer towards the right shin. Inhale to bring yourself back up. Exhale at the top. See if you can lift your left inner foot. Inhale, flex. Drop it down, exhale. Now that might be really easy for you or really hard. Inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale at the top. Inhale, lift the left foot. Exhale, drop it down. Okay, we'll make it a little bit harder now. So just take the arms out wide and then make a fist. So you want to squeeze all the air up between the palms. Gaze this forwards, breath in. Exhale, come down towards the shin. Pick it back up. Inhale, exhale at the top. Inhale, lift that left foot, drop it down, exhale. We'll go again, inhale, exhale brings you down, peel it up, breath in, exhale at the top, and lift the left foot. Okay, drop it down, hands behind the hips, back onto the heels in that little bear stance. Now both knees flop to the left, stagger out the legs, getting the legs at more or less 90, flexing both feet. And you want to face over the left shin, so fingers wide to begin with, breath in. Exhale, come down towards the shin. Inhale, peels you up. Exhale at the top. Lift this right inner foot, flex, turn the hip forward, drop it down, exhale, and we'll go again, inhale. Exhale, come down. Inhale, peel it back up. Exhale at the top. Right foot lifts. Flex. Drop it down. Little harder, arms wide. Breath in. Exhale, fall down. Bring yourself back up. Inhale. Exhale at the top. Lift that right foot and drop it down. One more time. Breath in. All the way down. Exhale. Peel yourself up. Inhale. Exhale at the top. And again. Right foot lifts. Lovely. Hands towards the back, back into the base stand, and then we'll swing it all around to make our way into tabletop again. Okay, in tabletop, just start to give the hips a little sway from side to side, almost like a bit of a semicircle at the back of the mat. So, right to left, side to side. Get everything moving. Lovely. And then we're gonna just take these circles a little bigger now. So the next time you sway your hips to the right, bring them all the way around towards the right wrist, the left wrist, and then take it back around the left. So beginning to explore bigger circles with the body, you can maybe start to move your shoulders, move your neck, your head, feel into that movement. And then when you come to the bottom, we'll just switch it up all the way around, moving the whole body as well. Okay. 
and find a little bit of stillness in tabletop adjust to the hands are underneath shoulder points knees are underneath hips take a big breath in to point your right toes squeeze your right bum cheek and then exhale step or lunge right foot wide with the hands inhale point the toes lift the core exhale step shoot wide inhale point exhale lunge inhale and the last, last exhale will stay here. So your right foot goes wider, the right hand. You can always adjust and take it wider if you want more space. Left hand under the left shoulder point will peel and open up our chest towards the right. Look up to the right thumb as you inhale and then bring your right hand to the right side of your head as you exhale. Inhale, see if you can turn the right elbow, open the chest. And then exhale, bring your right elbow towards or as close as towards the left wrist or the ground. Peel it open wide, breath in, look up beyond the elbow, open chest, and again, exhale. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale. We'll go for one more breath in. And exhale, twist. Okay, inhale to reach the elbow up, release the hand from the head, and then exhale, bring the hand all the way down towards the mat. Send the right leg back as you take a breath in, little point of the toes. Exhale, retain your knee to the mat. Left leg goes back, point as you look forwards, inhale. Deep lunge as you exhale, sink into it. Spring it back, look forwards, inhale. Exhale, step. Inhale, point. Exhale, lunge. Last one, breath in. And exhale. So the left foot steps wide, wiggle it wider if needed. Hand reaches anchors under the shoulder, and then we'll open up to the left this time. So left arm reaches high. This is the breath in. Use the breath out to bring the hand to the head. Inhale. See if you can send the elbow up higher. Peel the chest open, and then exhale. Crunch. So working those abs, finding a twist, opening the hip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, go for one more breath in, and squeeze, exhale, lovely, left arm high, inhale, and exhale, hand towards the mat, inhale, point the left toes, squeeze the bum cheek, retain the knee to the mat, exhale, kill the toes, lift the hips, down dog, let's pedal into it, give yourself some space, time to open the body. And see, you notice this class is really all about the hips. Maybe you want to focus on the hips in this stand up. So that little side to side movement as one hip drops, the other hip lifts. Maybe even a little sway of the bum, the hips from side to side, rocking the weight. Okay, onto the tips of your toes, tip to your feet to your hands. Arrive in an Uttanasana, so forward fold, top of the mat, bend the knees, drape the head down and just get nice and sway with it. So all the movement again, you guessed it, is from the hips. Okay, find stillness, bend the knees, use your inhale to roll you up, coming all the way up through to standing and exhale, relax, shoulders away from you. Big breath in, arms reach up, palms go high, and exhale, bend the knees, you'll fall towards the mat. So you just drop to the bottom. Okay, now fingers are going to drape against the mat, so you want to bend your knees enough so that the fingers can touch down. And now anchor through your right foot. Pop onto your left tippy toes so the heel will begin to lift, and the weight is in the ball of the left foot. Get really light on the left foot, but really strong and grounded on the right foot. Now we're gonna peel this off. So begin to take your left knee, take your arms all the way up to the sky, hovering, balancing on the right leg. Flow it up as you inhale, fingers reach high. And exhale, really root down into that right foot. Okay, with the left knee lifted, interlace the fingers around the top of the head, big breath in. And exhale, slot the fingers over the top of the left knee. Use your inhale to drive your left knee in closer to your chest. Stand up nice and tall. And exhale to drop the shoulders down. Bringing the left knee back in line with the hip point. Right hand comes to the hips. Use your inhale to take your left knee out to the side. So just externally rotate and open in the hip. And then exhale brings the left knee back to where it was. And we'll switch the grip. So right hand outside the left knee, left hand outside the left hip. Press into the right foot to lengthen. Inhale. And then use your exhale to twist to the left. 
So as you're twisting, make sure you don't bring the knee across the body. You want to anchor it in line with the hip. So you're using a little bit of resistance here. See if you can look back even more with each breath. Wonderful. Inhale, gaze back to the front, hands to the hips, exhale, elbows pin, shoulders back. Use your inhale to move into warrior three. Toes can be pointed or flex. You can use a block to support the weight of the body if needed. Right knee will bend. Slowly we drop it down as we exhale, lower the back left knee. Untuck the back left toes, draw the elbows in, breath in. As we exhale, deep lunge into the right knee. Just taking a moment to really draw the hips forwards and through. Keep moving the shoulders back. And exhale. As you take a breath in, lift slightly. And then exhale, pull your hips back, flex into your right toes, coming into Adha Hanumanasana. So you're feeling tight on the back of the legs, go ahead and use blocks or books, either side of the right shin. So press into lift to lengthen, look forwards. Hip is on top of the knee, no further back. And exhale, we fold. So the movement really comes rather than just kind of rounding to drop the head down. It's that lengthening, it's the bend of the elbows to bring the belly closer to the thighs and then the neck come relax. Take another breath in and exhale. As you inhale, press into the blocks of the mat, look forwards, lunge into the right knee, move the blocks from your hands in. Hands then come back onto the hips and exhale, sink. So if you want a little bit more of a stretch on the top of your left hip flexor, option to lift the back heel and just flex the toes. Focus on drawing the heel to the bum. If this is too much on the knee or the hip, just drop it down. If you want even more, the hands will come to the outside of the, either the shin or the ankle. And as you flex the foot, focus on really drawing the heel in closer to the bum, but again, taking your time. Slowly let go of the foot on the exhale. Arms reach out forwards as you take a breath in. Float the fingers to the mat as you exhale. So tensing onto the tips of the fingers. Curl the back left toes. Use your breath in to lift your back knee. Now I want you to really lift from the core, firm and strong in the thighs, until eventually your fingers can kind of float. Start to reach them out in front of you as you bend the knee. Inhale, lift the belly, lift the arms, super strong crescent to bring you up. Exhale, get low with it. Inhale, as you exhale, palms face down, arms go back like wings, really draw the shoulders back, creating resistance with the triceps. We're gonna unravel into a bit of a warrior two. So on the inhale, left arm comes forwards, left heel drops, left arm back, right arm forward. Exhale, deep lunge into the right knee. Warrior two. On the next breath in, forearms of thigh to set it up. Pause with Konasana, look up to the top hand. You can stay here or maybe find a bind or drop to the block. If you've got the bind, right fingers loop under the left, the right leg to grab the left. Look over the shoulder, pause for the inhale, whichever variation you're in, pause for your exhale. Inhale, unravels you back into warrior two, look forwards. Flip the right palm, reach to the front, and exhale to reverse, look to the right hand. As you continue to breathe, switch the gaze to the left foot. Now this is where we wanna go next. So you start to press into your right leg, straighten into your right leg, but bend into your left knee. Now this right hand wants to either grab for the outside of the left calf of the ankle or the foot. And if you can, drop the elbow of the forearm to the mat. Don't worry if it's lifted. And wherever we are, we'll begin to find a little twist. So look up to the left foot. At the same time, really draw your right inner arch of your foot towards your left. So it's that hugging, it's that squeezing action towards the side. Lovely, release, left hand to the mat. And then just start to creep over to a bit of a skandhasana. So bend it into the right knee, but straighten into the left leg. And then we'll just get nice and sway with it. So just flowing in between the two from side to side. Right knee bends, and the left, alternating the weight in the feet. <sighs> Moving your shoulders, your neck, everything flows together. Lovely guys. So the next time you lunge into your right knee, sink the hips down low, and we'll just walk everything to the front of the mat. So now the hands are framing this right foot, lunge into the right knee, left hand under the left shoulder, peel your chest open to side, 
look up as you take a breath in. Everything stays the same, you just want to drop that back knee as you take a breath out. Nice. Okay, inhale to wiggle the right foot wide, use the hands to press the knee and open the hip. Look over your shoulder, exhale, maybe drop your left hip slightly. Options to stay as we are, perhaps bending into the back knee, toes come to the back of the body. And if you can, we'll grab for that foot. And rather than kicking the foot into the hand, I want you to focus on drawing the foot in to encourage the stretch on the front of the thigh, the hip flexor. Keep pressing the right big toe down so that the weight doesn't drop outward. And soft exhale, release the left foot. Right arm reaches forwards and down to the mat. As you curl the back toes, lift your back knee as you inhale, core is active. And then as we exhale, you want to really rely on the arms and the core. Step the right foot behind the left knee, drop the left hip. Big press brings you up. Take a wild thing. Look over that right thumb. Inhale. As you exhale, bend your knees, sink the weight back. Down with facing dog. Separate the feet. Look towards the thighs. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, rolls you forwards, coming towards high plank. Look to the top line of the mat. Exhale, find the chaturanga. You can drop the knees. <sighs> Inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze high. And exhale, take it down the top. Sending your awareness towards the top of the mat, lift up higher the tippy toes, bend the knees a whole lot. And you can step or jump forwards. Taking a halfway lift to your flat back. Inhale. And relax, fall down as you exhale. So back into that bent knee position, bending the knees enough so that the fingers can kind of drape heavy to the mat. Relaxing the neck for a moment. This time you want to anchor into you, your left foot. So pop onto your right tippy toes, right heel lifts, getting used to kind of shifting the weight to the other side. And as you inhale, carry in our right knee up with us this time towards the chest. So peel it off, draping the fingers up to the sky. Big breath in. And exhale, slot the fingers over the top of the heads, all the way down towards the right knee. Use your inhale to draw your right knee in closer to your shoulder, to your chest. And exhale, draw the shoulders down. See if you can lengthen the leg, the back of the body. Okay, release. Right hand stays on the right knee, but left hand comes to the left hip. Right knee drops. And then inhale, open your knee out to the side. So a nice little hip opener in that external rotation. And then bring it back in. Exhale. Left hand roots to the outside of right knee, right hand to the hip. Anchor knee in line with hip. Again, press the resistance. Inhale. Exhale, we gaze over the shoulder. Inhale, brings the awareness back. Both hands to the hips as you exhale. Moving into Vibhadrasana. Great, so warrior three. Point the right toes, send the gaze forwards. Balance for a moment. Bend the left knee as you exhale, right toes, right knee, find the mat. So dropping into low lunge breath in as you look forwards. Exhale, lunge into the left knee, right hip, a little closer towards the mat. Keep the chest lifted, the gaze forwards. Coming into Adha Hanumanasana, so half split, grab a hold of the blocks if you've got them, or don't. Inhale, and exhale, pulls you back, left heel grounds, left toes flex, look forward. Relax as you fold, exhale. So even though we're in a fold and we're focusing on the leg being straight, we want to maintain a nice flat back as well. Probably lift them through the crown, look forwards, inhale, move the blocks out the way. Exhale, hands down. Press the fingers either side of the foot. Curl into the back, right toes. So super strong in the legs, super strong in the arms, the core. And float the fingers eventually off of the mat. Bring the arms out in front of you. Inhale, peels you all the way up into strong crest. And exhale, get low with it. Inhale, take the arms back, palms face down, shoulders and triceps hug to the sides. And then we'll unravel, coming into warrior two as we take a breath in. So right arm forwards, right heel drops, left arm opens wide, gaze goes forward, bit of a dress in there. As we exhale, we're going to drop left forearm to the thigh, right arm reaches over the ear. So you want to maintain that nice opening in the hip, so you want to avoid that right hip dropping. Same variation as we did on the other side. If you found a bind, grab for that right hand and look over your shoulder. Keep your chest open, your hips open. 
Bring it back out, inhale to come into warrior two. And exhale, flip your left palm, reach towards the front, and then open over the ear. Reverse. Look down to the outside of the right foot. This is where we go next. So alternate the weight, right knee bends, left leg straightens. Left hand reaches to the outside of the right calf, the ankle or the foot. And if you can, you can drop the forearm all the way down to the mat. That action is squeezing your left foot towards your right, hugging your inner thighs, engaging your hips. Right arm reaches up, peel the gaze towards the thumb, inhale, into the twist, exhale, lower your right hand to the mat, and then we're just going to shift into a skandhasana on the left side, and then just get nice and flowy with it, so just swaying, alternating, right to left, one knee bends, one leg straightens. Okay, and the next time we kind of sway towards the left, Linger here, dropping it into your full skandhas. Now, whether that's lifted or all the way down, big breath in. And press the lift all the way forwards. Hands now frame the left foot, right hand roots under the right shoulder point. Peel that left arm open wide into an open twist. Inhale. Everything stays the same, just drop the right knee, exhale. Inhale, left foot wiggles to the side, left hand pushes the knee, open the hip. Dropping the back toes to look beyond the shoulder if you can. So a bit of a twist. Maybe start to flex the right toes, lift the right foot. Perhaps we can grab for that foot. And if you can, draw the foot in closer to the body, stay in with the twist. Soft release as you exhale, left arm forwards and down to the mat. Press the lift, big breath in. And again, we're gonna use the core here. So left foot's gonna step behind the right knee, drop the right bum cheek, exhale. Big press on the inhale, finding wild thing on the other side, open up the body. Exhale, both knees bent, push it back, downward dog. Inhale, drag the body forwards, high plank. Exhale, vinyasa, chaturanga. Up to your upward dog breath in. And back to your downward dog breath out. From downward dog, we'll just take a step with the feet now. So feet go nice and wide. Push your heart in between your legs and keep your spine long. And one by one, we'll walk the hands towards the feet, arriving in a forward fold at the back of the mat. And then just get nice and sway with it from the hips. Okay, now we'll find stillness and start to pivot our toes out. Bend our knees to sink our bum down a little. And then we're just going to kind of rock the weight from side to side. So one foot lifts, grinding through the heel of the other till eventually we come down to a little malasana yogi squat. Very bottom of the mat, hands close to the heart, breath in as you look forwards, lengthen. Breath out. Fingers to the mat, big press to lift you up, inhale. Wiggle your feet in, exhale to come into downward dog. Push the weight back, lift the hips up, breathe in, look back, and exhale. Inhale, waves you forwards, so we'll take another vinyasa, exhale, lower down. Inhale, chest lifts, up dog or cobra. Pull it back on the exhale, downward facing dog, release the breath. Okay, dropping down towards child's pose. So just untuck the toes, you can relax the forehead for a moment. Returning back to the flow of the breath, feeling the breath internally, not just expressing it externally. Wonderful, pressing into hands to create length and height. And we're just gonna come a little closer to the top now. So just kind of creep your way forwards. We're going to cross leg position. So right leg on top of the left. Fingers can come wide for a moment. We're just gonna get nice and sway with it to begin. So movement from the shoulders, taking the movements to be, be to be big to begin with. So really big sways, and then just make them smaller and smaller and smaller. So eventually you can perhaps drop into stillness. Maybe the fingers reach out in front of you, the bum pushes back, the neck relaxes, perhaps even the forearms drop. Use your block here as well. So now we're really 
nice and well warmed up, just dropping it into some slightly deeper hip openers. And inhale, move your away from the mat. You can keep the block where it is. We'll keep the right shin forwards. And then just kind of take our left leg back. So we're returning back into that little staggered shape with the legs, just like we did at the beginning. You want to lie on your right foot up with your left knee and your left heel. Now, this right knee wants to be a little bit wider than the hip, and you want to face over the shin. And we'll do the same thing we've just done in that little cross-legged stance. So we're getting sway with it, side to side. We get it smaller and smaller, a little distraction for the hips until we can maybe come a little closer to the mat, whether that's on the forearms, on a block, relax. Feel the tension in the glutes and the hip just start to release. Truly surrender into this moment to your practice. Okay, inhale, lift you up. And now we're going to shift our weight forward to a little prior warning. We're going to come into pigeon. So if you like to come into pigeon from another way, maybe from a plank, from a down dog, go for that. I'm going to go into pigeon from exactly where we are. So first I need to bring my right heel a little closer to my pelvis. Now bring my fingers wide and kind of shift my weight forwards to begin with. So you're going to rest onto the knee, onto the right foot. And then just take the left toes behind you. You can tuck the toes and then just use this to glide you back. So you drop it into pigeon. If your hips are lifted, you can always just kind of pop a block under the hips or two. And then when we come into pigeon, making sure the knee is wider than the hip, yeah. Toes untucked, fingers go wide, side to side sway, just like we did before. Big to begin with, smaller and smaller and smaller. And then into full sleeping pigeon. Fully relax the body, the face. And just remembering that each time we step foot on our mat, <clears throat> we arrive with a slightly different body. So we all have different, wonderful and unique bodies, different from one another, but also different from day to day, personally to us. So you might feel super open, super mobile one day and just not so the next. And that's okay. Just recognising what body we're greeted with today and being grateful for that body. So if you're someone that feels quite tight and feels this pose quite deeply, intensely, then perhaps you need to work on surrendering, learning to let go, relaxing both halves of the hips, but really still working on bringing them together at the same time. Whereas if you're someone who's quite mobile, quite flexible, and you kind of just drop into the pose, Try to work on hugging in the hips, working towards squaredness, where strength meets flexibility. So kind of finding that balance between the two. Lovely inhale, move away from your mat, walk your hands back, grow tall for a moment, fingers wide. And then we're just going to swing our left leg in front of our right. So cross leg position on the other side. This might feel a little weird, especially if it's your unfamiliar side for me. It's not natural, it doesn't feel natural, but we need to make sure the hips are nice and even. So fingers go wide, little side to side sway. Big to begin with, make it smaller as we move. And then drop it in. Onto hands. Maybe forearms, maybe block, maybe through foreheads. Really try, try to anchor your sit bones down so that your bum kind of doesn't poke up, just so that you can get your chest now. Lovely, inhale, move away from the mat, exhale, left shin stays forward, let's find that staggered stance with the legs, so right heel side of the mat, left foot side of the mat, adjust the hips facing forward, fingers wide, 
side to side sway, move it right to left. Keep breathing, make it smaller and smaller and smaller, and then drop it into that staggered 90 degree. The hips are the center of our emotion, our creativity. So just let that run free as you delve deeper into these hip openers. It's normal to have strong surges or pulses of emotions. Try not to rebel, resist. Allow whatever comes to you to come to you. Okay, inhale, press the lift, exhale. Bring the left heel in, so we're moving into that ekapada. So you're going to shift the weight forwards. Remember, you can always come in from a, a down dog or from a plank. And then take the right toes back. Right toes are on top, so you're on the top of the foot to begin. Knee goes a little wider than the left hip, if you can. And as you look forwards, find the, the height. So avoid kind of just dropping the hips down. So it's still that action of hugging the hips in, inhale and then moving it down as we exhale. Breathe. And just feel your jaws start to relax, drop open. The crinkles in the forehead just start to ease as you relax the muscles within the face. And your shoulders drop away from the ears. Okay, inhale, work your way back. Swing it back into that cross leg position. Right leg on top or left leg, whatever feels good. Breath in. And exhale, little twist. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, breath in. And twist. Gaze forward, switch the grip. Inhale. And exhale. Realign that spine, breath in. Exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Bring your gaze back in front of you, bring your hands to your heart, just experiencing the benefits of a balanced practice, that serenity. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.